It's finally here, the Neptune System Aqua Controller. Looks like a pH probe, calibrating solutions. Alright guys, so this is uh, what comes in the Apex, you have your brain there, you have a, uh, a cord, you got your controller, you have another cord, you have a probe, pH probe, temperature probe, lab, lab grade, and you get your EB8 um, power strip. Also, if you want to do wireless, you're going to have to buy one of these Netgear uh, universal Wi Fi adapters. You need the uh, WNCE 2001. If you can read that right there, that's what you need. And so, as you can see, I placed the apex inside this uh, drawer to protect it from the elements, from the water and uh, humidity. It's not fully set up yet. It's taking me a really long time. Just making sure I got you know I'm doing it right. That's the you can't really see that's the energy bar. You know, eight outlets. That's your controller. You can see it. That's the brains. This is a wireless adapter, so you don't have to. As my modem is all the way over there, so you don't have to have a wire running across the room. Um, only time you need the wires for major updates of firmware. Uh, this is my uh, pump. Yeah, so everything's pretty messy right now, nothing is plugged in, but I'm working on it. This is the pH probe, this is the uh, lab grade, lab grade pH probe. Uh, it's not going to be here, it's just out for the purpose of the video. And this is the temperature probe. Exciting stuff. Alright, so right now everything is plugged in there, everything's a mess. And as soon as everything will be uh, in here, nice and neat and controlled by the Apex. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, so this is basically the final uh, arrangement for the Apex. So it's going to be enclosed in this uh, cabinet. Uh, everything is still kind of a mess, but I just plugged everything in. I don't know if you guys could see that. Uh, so, eight, all eight. Of uh, EB8 uh, outlets are being used. Actually turned out perfect. That's as, that's exactly how many things I had to plug in. That's the controller. You can't really see it. That's the Vortec. It is connected to the uh, uh, Apex, but I don't have the uh, the thing to control it. I might be I might buy that later on. Uh, this is the Netgear uh, wireless adapter. This is the brain of it all, and uh, a couple of holes in the back for. Uh, ventilation. Only thing I will be adding here is uh, we'll be adding a little light that's gonna come on automatically when I open the door. A little button here. I used to have that like 10 years ago. So I'm gonna look into how to do that again. It'll be much easier. And also I'll probably hook up a uh, little computer fan to control the temperature in here. Not so much control but just to uh, be on all the time maybe just to keep this area cool because there's quite a few things in here that uh, generate a little bit of heat and you know I don't want to start a fire so uh, yeah that's about it so uh, also we'll have to do something about these wires hanging out in the back but other than that this will be basically the final uh, setup alright guys let me know what you think um, you know how you hook up your uh, controllers you know, uh, how do you keep it away from the water and the elements and, you know, because these things do cost quite a bit of money, at least for me, it's a lot, and, uh, 
you know, even though I did get it at Black Friday, got a 10% off, but uh, still I'd like to keep this thing, you know, lasting for a long time. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I have to really clean up these wires, make it look uh, nice and safe, also. Very important. There's the Vortec in action. Alright. And Ebony still hasn't moved since I placed it here a month ago, almost now. It's three weeks. Yeah. Alright, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time. Peace out.